Meghan Markle's family has erupted into a feud with her half-brother and her half-sister slamming Meg over the Netflix series for turning her back on them and their father, Thomas Markle. In episode 3 of Meghan and Harry, the Duchess accused her father of using her notoriety to capitalize on paparazzi's pictures of him, until he suffered a stroke in May and ghosted her, prompting Prince Harry to say she no longer has a father. She also claimed she has never really had siblings and grew up as a single child. Meghan and Harry's comments drew the ire of Thomas Markle Jr. who said he was left to gasp by his half-sister's remarks. Thomas Markle Jr. told Talk TV, I think it's horrible. The documentary is so far on so many different levels. It's really a little bit disturbing, saying that she doesn't have a family, that she doesn't have a father and then Harry saying that she has no father now. It's just ridiculous. Markle Jr. said the content of Harry and Meghan prompted him to reach out to his own production team, which is currently working on a counter-narrative. She just basically brushed the entire family under the carpet like we don't exist, and then lied about not having a family, and lied about she doesn't have a family that she's always wanted, he said. Thomas Jr. continued, we've always been here. The documentary is way off. That's what's actually prompted me to work with my own production team and coming out in like 2023 our side of a documentary that's going to shed a lot of light that needs to be shed, it's going to tell a whole different story. I think the general public in the UK and America knows that now the Markles aren't bad people, we're just like a normal family like everybody else. We do exist, and when one person tells lies, this is what happens, you end up looking ridiculous. Markle Jr. was especially annoyed by the portrayal of the couple's fairy tale wedding, and took his younger half sister to task for not inviting the family. I mean, who doesn't invite their family to a wedding, especially a royal wedding? And it's not like anybody in my family asked her for one nickel or anything other, we were all happy for her when this happened. He continued, but the turn of events showed the true colors of this woman. My general overview is I can't believe that she was able to be in this position, all by my father's doing by the way, to be in that position and to know what you're getting yourself into and then go in there and try and change a 1000 year old traditional monarchy to your own liking. Who does that? Everything every woman could ever dream of in their life. You had and you had to go and make waves and accusations and be difficult and overall taking Harry away from his family. In a separate interview, Meghan's half-sister Samantha also came at the series, telling GB News she hopes Thomas Markle S.R. 78, will not watch it. He has been through so much, two heart attacks and a stroke and she enabled this, watched it, did nothing about it, and for Harry to say something like that is egregious, she said. In the docu-series, Meghan claimed she desperately tried to reach out to Thomas Clark when she heard he was hospitalized with a stroke. However, he never returned any of Meghan's phone calls or text messages except for one occasion in which his texts seemed unusual, she said. The Duchess claimed her father would write texts with emojis and would usually call her by her nickname Meg. The texts she received included not emojis and her father called her Megan. From that point on, she stopped answering his texts amid suspicion someone might have hacked her phone. As a result, Thomas Markle, who was initially supposed to attend her wedding at Windsor Castle did not show up read next.